Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Uh, let's go ahead and see where we are. Um, as you may have seen, it's been a while since I've last played, so um, with Zelda Tears of the Kingdom out, that kind of proved to be a major distraction. So <laughs> let's see if we can go ahead and... Um, oops, I'm already going crazy here, forgetting all the controls. Playing on the Switch controller for too long has uh, reset my mind on how to get around. So let's go ahead and see about this one. I should probably check to make sure that this is a main story quest because I'm kind of headed down the path of just main story work, but let's see. Oops. That would probably be best to go to the quest menu. Lodgox loyalty, find the entrance to the mine. Okay. Okay, so it appears to be up. I saw mention of a troll. I wonder where it's at. Ah, uh, okay. So we got a lot going on here, huh? Let's just see if we can fly past them all. Rebellion. Oh, okay then. This place stinks of Ranrock and his cronies. Works for me. No sign of Lodgok out here. He must be inside already. Okay, let's see. Look at the size of this mine. Lord Gork! Something seems wrong! How did that guy already see me? I don't think I was anywhere near him. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. I'm going to Imperio 101. Imperio! So overpowered though, I think it Oh. Apparently he's decided that he is in one of the period. <laughs> Alright. Well I'm slowly getting the swing of things back. Um I don't think this game had a crouch really. Unless you got the prompt if I remember right. This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. And we can do that, but I feel like there's something back here, like a treasure or something. It looks like it may also require a cart to get back there, anyways. Um, well, maybe that's it. Just like Gringotts, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. Hmm. Something seems wrong. How deep will this take? Ranrock's gonna be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lots of money and no need to spend any of it. Revelio. Should probably do a couple of Revelios, see if there's anything in here. Gotta get that money. Okay. Okay, I'm like this one. There's one of the handles we can use with Accio, I believe. Wonder how this changes things. 
that steam generating. That'll probably power a cart somewhere, I would imagine. Let's see. I think we have Accio in one of these. Here we go. Accio. How do you think it was clever how they set up the multiple pulls this way? Oh, weird. I guess it to be positioned just right for that to work properly. I don't remember that happening before. I threw that other one off to the side. I didn't quite see it. Still have a few enemies showing up on the radar. I wonder why. Hmm. This looks like an interesting area. Oops. Forgetting how to climb. There we go. This feels like this might be the way to a little extra present of some sort. So let's go see. I'm so rusty from not playing, it's crazy. Oh, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this little keyhole projection. I wonder if that's been in a recent patch. really bright compared to how I remember it being. Huh. They changed the animations like that sparkle of the green in the bottom right seemed a lot bigger than anything I remember it being. Fascinating. It's really interesting when you think about the game and the software and how it's just constantly changing and Incendium. you know the games that we get on ship date are drastically different a year or two later and change quite a bit. Hmm. There we go. Surprised in City I didn't take out that wood. Okay, I don't think I'll be making it through there. So is that it? Just some money? Uh, gotta be something else out here, surely. Seems strange to have a level 3 lock. Or so little. Well, maybe that's it though. I don't see anything else. Hmm. Perhaps I missed it, but that doesn't seem like there's anything left. Oh, sounds like we got some more trolls or goblins. Okay, so we got this way and. See, I think there's a couple different ways actually. Let's go up high before we go low. Cause going low looks like it'll take us to the next area. So let's go look around a little bit. Revelio. Okay, probably just some money, but this might be a treasure. Black leather gloves. Fortunately, they're a downgrade, but we'll take it for the style at least. <coughs> Hmm. I wonder where this is going to lead. Looks like there might be a treasure, but I don't know if we're going to make it. Hmm. I feel like a spell. Maybe I could Leviosa this or something. Okay. Let's go see what's down here. Yeah. 
Oops. Okay. Oh, I got us a collection item as well. This looks like it loops back to somewhere. Charming school cloak. Cool. Ah, okay. Ah, that's a nice little loop. Okay. What about over here? Looks like there might be a few things. Now that drop down looks like it could be taking me back to a previous area. I bet that's what it is. I bet it's a shortcut to get back to somewhere. Um, either that or it's going to take me down to where the enemies are. Which we'll see. We might see them soon enough this way. Such an angry goblin. Playing with spells again. It's been so long. There we go. Not bad. Didn't keep a com perfect combo or anything, but still nice. Uh, let's see. I thought I saw an area over here. Oh, maybe not. Some iron work. That's it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got a door over there to the right. Looks like we have some treasure to check out. Money and a school uniform. Let's see, another ride. So I assume that will take us to the next area. Now this may have been the way if I dropped down from up above. Um, Let's go see what we got. Nope, I guess it's its own little area. The lace sorcerer hat. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. So there's the ride over there. I These guess. This device is run on steam power. Incendio. It's a observation. So I bet taking that cart will take me back to somewhere. I've been before. I hope I can get to Ranrock before Logcock does. Hmm. 
Another drill is complete. The wizarding world will prosper. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists. Okay, well, I wonder if this is coming up on the end or not, because this is feeling like a potential a boss battle. Um, give me just a minute. I'm going to send a quick text message and I will be ready. Alright, here we go. Let's see what happens now. Oh, that's an angry troll. Let's see what we can toss out here. How about Andrew? Expelliarmus. Imperial. What about that guy? I don't know if I should really worry about anything else. Uh, let's see. Just about everything. Okay then. Boy, we just melted through that troll, didn't we? With using items and all. Jeez. Oops. Let's see, that looks like the path forward. So maybe I can go up here. Nope. Um, let's see, it's nothing like we're still in battle too, that's interesting. Um, Rebellion. huh, not exactly sure what to do here. You know, I mentioned stopping. But you know, I don't see one of the enemies that's on the board, so I'm like a little bit worried that it's not going to trigger a cutscene or something until I defeat this last enemy. So let me try running away. Maybe it'll spawn in the right place. Ah, this gate went up. Yeah, it's not looking good. I wonder if I've got a progress stopping bug here. Perhaps. Um. Surely there's some way to get up to that next area. Oh! There's the enemy. Clap saw pillars. Okay. So that's what I needed to have happen. There we go. you've brought me. Don't! Are you alright? Oh 
never understand you, Lord Gok. Sir Gollum, that witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching in vain for Bragbore's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now, I don't need you. I don't need any of you! I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind! No! Above the Dabra! hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Okay, let's see. Now to get out of this blasted place. Well, that was a good shortcut to get out of here. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the Keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. Okay. Another one down. Let's check out our gear, see if we can upgrade anything. Oops. Doesn't look like it. Let's double check. Yeah, I need to sell some of my stuff. Okay, let's see. It looks like I have a talent point to spend, but we'll wait a little bit longer. Collections, we won't bother with. And quests. We have Finding Focus and the Centaur and the Stone. So let's uh, warp over to Hogsmeade and get some of our stuff sold off. for delivering those potions to Madame Lawang. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Here you found see. a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> Was never one for adventure myself. Guess we'll go ahead and let it go. Down it'll catch up, even if I were to upgrade it. Now we're going to hit nearly 20,000 in the bank again. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. All right. Back to the map chamber. Hogwarts and secret rooms.
I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. Um, okay. It's a little bit confused. It's like, why isn't the door opening? It's because you gotta According push. To the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Curious where that shows on the map. I think if it's all the way over the coast area. Yeah, it is. So I could go ahead and go there now, but I think I would rather start one of the side quests instead because I'd like to complete uh, quests that show up here before beating the game, and that's feeling like I'm getting a lot closer. So, finding focus, received an owl from Natty requesting that I speak with her. I haven't heard much from her in the way of next steps for taking down Harlow. She wants me to meet with her in the Great Hall. Here we go. All right. Some days are more difficult. Lassie, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind, and I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. <laughs> He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. It's not your fault, Natty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. 
and I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself relieving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them, beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. All right. Does that put that quest on pause for a minute? Kind of looks like it does. Let's go see about Poppy. And that will be another warp, so let's just go ahead and go back here. Okay, this looks like the fastest way. rather dark in there never stopped me before <laughs> I feel like I've seen this cave at least once you made it not been in but seen it I take it this means you had some luck at the library it took a few hours and some eye-watering maps but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about impressive especially with how little information he gave us well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Okay, here we go. I feel like that mine level with uh, Ranrock just now was pretty short. So I wonder if this one will be at the same length or shorter. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Akio. Bobada. Hmm. I'm gonna try going to this other area first, then we'll go back to that one. This feels like it's the dead end, so we'll get whatever's back here and then continue on the other way. Pork lump and a little bit of money. Revelio. That's it. Okay. Ah, oh, this is just Wigan Weld. Okay. Makes sense. Oh. I'm gonna take that out quickly. 
Those things are so tough to you. They can take you out pretty quickly. Huh. Rebellion. Almost looks like something I could lift. This is interesting. Uh, let's see what's over here first, I suppose. Ah, it's another one of those little, like, butterfly puzzle things. Okay. No sign of the butterfly yet, though. Assume we'll find some way to get up there. I don't see anything at the moment, though. Rebellion. Hmm. Just walking away makes me wonder. Perhaps I'll come out that way, though, on the way back. I guess we'll see. Your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwooper's song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. <gasps> Unbeatable Quidditch gloves. Yeah, your spiders. Do do do. Akio. Ah, it's like another one of those full amount that crack order type of puzzles. Why am I not surprised? First the creepers and now this. Interesting, another case of the little butterflies. Um, let's see, I don't think I pulled this one yet. We need to find moths. Okay. And I think that these take Lumos. So, let's see if I have it anywhere. Looks like I don't. So let's uh, resign. Which I'm totally blinking on how to do that. Um, there we go. Let's go down to our accessory one and we'll put it up here. Lumos. Lumos. And I could use it here or I could go back. See what that other one does. So let's see if it'll let me go that far back with it. It was a ways ago. Hmm, I'm gonna be able to make it across this little part. Yep. yep. Lumos. That's gonna be the problem. I don't think I'll be able to make it passing that little piece, so. It's okay. We don't have to be perfect or anything. Oh, okay. I guess it's right here. Now, how about the other one? Um, let's see. Looks like we need the little triple thing and that one, so. Oh, I think I pulled out the wrong one, but oh well. Go ahead and see what's in here. Okay, so we need this one and. Where is our little? Perhaps the runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Oh, okay, the air and the other one. Lumos. Lumos. It's funny that she does the Lumos too. Okay. And then I think I have to do the pulse. Is that right? 
Okay, nice. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Ah. It's a little place to dive. Let's go see what happens. Let me check it out. Guessing I'll be a peasant down here. Surprise, Poppy came with me. I didn't think she would. Let's see what is this over here? Bombada. Oh, that spell might have been funny. Blue solar protection goggles. Okay, let's see what's over here now. Oh. Hmm. Now where am I? Oh, there's another one here. To start to think. I'm scared to kill someone die. <laughs> Just keep tapping it, why not? Okay then. <laughs> All right. Where else we gotta go? Do you feel like I passed up a potential area back a little ways? But it's all right. I'm not going for perfection or anything today. beige scarf where did am I now okay so that put me back to where I was I think I just opened up this gate so we'll backtrack a little bit explore the other area I don't think I went to this one on the left looks like it's just a oh no it's not a dead end there's more back here interesting Hmm, I wonder what this is. Looks like it could be something. It's probably some undead enemies that didn't pop down just now. Or something. This looks like a fine place to get attacked. Let's backtrack this way and see if we can find that area that I think I overlooked earlier. Let's go through here. I think it might be to the left here in a moment. Let's see. Okay, there was this, but I feel like... Oh, I know. I think it was... After this crawl space area. Oh, well, that just gets me back to the warp pool, so let's go and take it. Maybe I didn't really miss anything like I thought I did. Now, the problem is, is that I don't know if I'll be able to get out of this area. 
don't think I'll be able to climb or anything. Huh? No, I was wrong. Okay. Well, presumably there is a moth in here somewhere. I'd so be seeing this little Akio guy here. There's actually two of them. I wonder if I can use Repair. Lumos. Lumos. No, it let me. I didn't expect that to work. Thought for sure the gate would close. I wonder if this is going to drain the water. Oh yeah. Got to now use the Depulso. I gotta go get this other one first, I suppose. And then we'll get the last one when we're ready to cross the bridge for the final time. Alright, little buddy. There's one more left. Darn dug bugs. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this again. Imperial. Crucial. Bombardment. There we go. <laughs> Give me all your juicy innards. The water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? Bombard. There we go. It's back here. 55 galleons. That's what. Okay. Let's go see what's in this treasure chest first. Then we'll go check out the bubbling water. This is a pretty area. This is where the floopers flew by, Merlin, right? It's even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. It's really pretty. Incendio. Oops. There we go. Given what floopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. <laughs> we found it! It's like staring directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Okay. I suppose oh. we gotta do a little bit of rock climbing to get out of here by the look of things. Uh. 
Or... Maybe not. Um... Oh, interesting. Let's go back up here again, I guess. If I can find the way. Nope, it's not the way. Oh, I guess I have to talk to Poppy, that's why. Okay. Perhaps we'll just disapparate out of here. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. Okay. Oh, can't fly to it. Uh, well, what's the path? Weird. How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason you went. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. What a weird place to put us where I had to kind of jump around. No way to use a broom or anything. Here we go. to see even one they only ever happen under a full moon though i suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal all part of the dance no one pattern is ever the same though we'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it can't wait to tell gran that i've managed to see not one but two moon calf dances she'll be jealous you've seen this before it was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead more money i suppose i'd finally had enough i freed highwing and we ran we'd flown for ages when i spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them it felt like an omen a good one a sign that the worst was over what do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over you see the night i freed highwing was also the night i ran away from home a poacher camp i come from a family of poachers Merlin, 
I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just... barely. I think the pattern's a... bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. Okay, nice. Anne's worried. She said Sebastian promised her that I would be there if she went to meet him in the catacomb. But now he's asking her to join him immediately and to come alone. She says he doesn't sound himself. Meet us at the catacomb as soon as you can. I hope that my quill has conveyed my message clearly. Okay. Another quest now. I'm just going to wait and see. Poppy reaches a point and disapparates or opens the door. It's unusual to see one of the NPCs uh, actually walk around for an extended amount of time. Usually they disapparate after a couple steps, but since we are at Hogwarts and all, she may actually go on through. Huh? Interesting. Let's go just a little bit longer. I want to see how much further she goes. Probably won't do too much longer though, because I think we're probably at a perfect time to quit. So we'll just let the mystery remain there and run our credits. Say thank you for watching. It's been S. Rank. Follow me on Twitch and Mastodon and YouTube at S. Rank. I'm going to upload on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good day.